Good morning, Kids Church friends. I'm glad to have you with us today. Just like last week, today's lesson is going to have parts in the video where you can pause and discuss the questions as a family. There's also going to be a family activity at the end of the video. If you guys want to participate and do it at home, all you're going to need is cornstarch and water. So pause the video and grab those materials if you want to do our activity at the end of the video. Okay, so last week in Kids Church, we talked about the story where God blessed Abraham. Abram and his wife Sarah were getting older and they wanted a family, but they were kind of getting past the age of having a family, but God promised them they would have a really big family. And he kept his promise, and they did. And when they were much older, they had a son named Isaac. So Abraham's son Isaac had two boys, twin boys named Jacob and Esau. And you might remember last year we talked about Jacob and Esau. Esau was the firstborn, and the firstborn son is supposed to get what's called an inheritance, which is basically money from the dad when he gets older. Well, Jacob, the younger son, was very jealous, and he wanted Esau's inheritance. So he pretended to be Esau. Esau was kind of hairy, and Jacob put stuff on his arms to make him feel hairy so that his dad would think that he was his brother and he took his brother's inheritance. So you can imagine that Jacob and Esau were not in a great relationship. Esau was probably not really happy with Jacob because he had cheated him out of his money. So in today's story, Jacob is getting ready to go see Esau. They haven't seen each other for a while and Jacob's going to see Esau. So I want you to think about that in your mind. Today's story also has a wrestling match in it. So pause the video real quick. I want you to answer a couple of questions and then we'll read today's story. All right, we're reading today's story from our Spark Story Bible and our story is called Jacob Wrestles. Jacob was on his way home from a long trip and stopped to sleep by a river one night. During the night, a man woke Jacob up and began to wrestle him. Jacob was surprised. Who is this, he wondered. What does he want? After wrestling all night, the man begged Jacob to let him go. No, said Jacob, not until you have blessed me. The man asked, what is your name? Jacob told the man his name. Then the man blessed Jacob and said, now you will have another name, Israel. It means you have wrestled with God. What a surprise. Could it really be true? Jacob had not really wrestled with a man. Jacob had wrestled God, and God blessed him. Jacob hurried the rest of the way home. What a story he had to tell his family. In this story, God meets with Jacob, wrestles with him, and then he blesses him and gives him a new name. If you guys remember in the story last week, Jacob's grandfather, Abram, was given a new name, Abraham, after he met with God. This reminds us that when we meet with God, God changes us. Now, Jacob was probably not feeling really good that night. He was probably feeling anxious, scared, sad, maybe feeling a little bit guilty. And sometimes we go through that too. We may not wrestle with God physically with our arms, or with our thumbs. But sometimes we wrestle with God when we have something in our life that maybe we have questions about, something we're having a hard time with, something we're trying to figure out. We might wrestle with God in those ways, in our hearts and in our mind. And when we meet with God, God can change us, just like he changed Jacob. A lot of times in the Bible, people's names will be changed. Um, and that symbolizes that something changed inside their heart. Like remember about a month ago, we talked about Saul, who was not a nice guy. And he met Jesus on the road, and his name was changed to Paul. So I want you to pause the video, and I want you to answer a couple more questions with your family. I wonder what 
kind of names you guys came up with that you would change your name to. I would love to hear what they are. All right, I have one more activity for you guys to do as a family as we're thinking about this idea of God changing us. So on the next slide, I'm going to show you guys the ingredients for something called oobleck. And you guys can try making this at home and playing with it. If you don't have the materials to do it now, you could grab them the next time you guys are at the store. It's a really fun activity you could do anytime. Okay, so that oobleck is really weird stuff. It's kind of hard to tell. Is it a solid? Is it a liquid? Kind of depends on how you play with it to see what it feels like. This oobleck reminds me that sometimes we have hard hearts. Just like when you poked at that oobleck, it felt like, like a rock. Sometimes our hearts are really hard. But when we let God hold us in his hands, then we kind of become shapeable right? We become flexible and God can use us and he can change us and he can turn us into something else when we submit to him and when we let him hold us. So think about that this week. If there's something in your life that you're maybe wrestling with God about that you could pray about and that you could give to him and see how he might change your heart. All right, friends, let's close in prayer real quick. Dear God, sometimes we wrestle, but you never give up on us. You love us, change us, and bless us. Thanks be to God. Amen. All right, friends, thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you guys on Friday at our Zoom call, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.